The uh, base on it has been changed over the years, but I think the pot itself is actual and it's been uh, soldered together a couple of times, it looks like. The actual, actual origin of it, uh, I'm not sure. I know that this uh, 1993, when I arrived to this area, uh, that's the pot, the base changed since I've been here. I would tell Coach all of this too, but when we got it back finally, uh, in 2015, after I think, uh, it, I can't remember how many years it had been, it was a little tarnished. So uh, Miss Ruby, who's our, our secretary in the main office, she, she's been here forever. She, that Monday morning, she had the, the polish out. We got that thing polished back up and uh, we, we said they took it for granted a little bit. Well, I think it's friendly competition, but it is still a, a big rivalry. Coffee County is the rival, and some of the previous coaches that have coached here, uh, one in particular, even refused to go even drive through Manchester. It's always that way. It's just something about it. it doesn't matter if uh, on paper they're better or we were better. It was always a close game. It didn't matter. It always come down to a player or two. It's always that way. <laughs> you, I didn't understand the the heated rivalry, I said it's just another game. We had to approach it that way because uh, otherwise the kids would just focus on that game. And you know, that's the one thing I was told when I got hired here and, and taken over an 0-10 program, it was, well, if you beat uh, Tullahoma and win the coffee, you know, coffee pot, you're gonna be solid for life. And I'm like, one game? It would make, you, it would make or break your year. Yeah, I think so. I think it's something that you're you're raised of going in the coffee pot game. Uh, you see it when you're a kid. Always got to, you know, you want to win the coffee pot game. Memory of the coffee pot game is winning them, and that's that's the best memories we can have. I got a three-year-old son and a one-year-old daughter. It's something I can't wait to be able to tell them, show them game film, and uh, tell them I got to play in it, and hopefully they will too. It's what football ought to be like on a Friday night in southern Middle Tennessee. It'll be a packed out house. Both sides will be there. It's always been a robbery, as far as I can remember back, and uh, I guess it always will be.